friend. What friend? Not yet at rest. The king to bed, he hath been an unusual pleasure, and sent forth great largesse to your office. This diamond he greets your wife with awe by the name of most kind hostess, and shut up the measureless content. Being unprepared, our will became the servant to defect, which else should free have wrought. All's well, I've dreamt last night of the weird sisters. To you they have shown some truth. I think not of them, yet when we can treat an hour to serve, we would spend it in some words upon that business, if at you would grant the time. At your kindest pleasure. If you shall plead to my consent, when to his, it shall make honor for you. So I lose none in seeking to augment it, but still keep my laws and franchise and allegiance clear, I shall be kept. Is this a dagger which I see before me to handle toward my hand? Come, let me clutch thee. I have thee not, and yet I see thee still. Art thou not a fatal vision, sensible to feeling as a sight? Or art thou but a dagger of the mind, a false creation proceeding from a heat brain? I see thee yet in form as palpable as this which now I draw. I see thee still, and on my blade and dungeon gouts of blood which was not so before. There is no such thing. It is the bloody business which informs thus to my eyes. Red he lives, for set need of deeds to cold breath gives. I go, and it is done, the bell invites me. Hear it not, Duncan, for it is a knell that summons thee to heaven or to hell. My husband! I have done to thee, didst thou not hear a noise? I heard the owl scream and the crickets cry, did not you speak? When? Now, as I descended the chamber? I. Hark, who lies in the second chamber? Donalby! This is a sorry sight. A foolish thought to say a sorry sight. Go get some water and wash this filthy witness from your hand. Why did you bring these daggers from the place? They must lie there. Go. Carry them and smear the sleepy grooms with blood. I'll go no more. I'm afraid to think what I have done. Look on it again. I dare not. In firm of purpose, give me the daggers. The sleeping and the dead are but as pictures. It is the eye of childhood that fears us, the painted devil. If he do bleed, I'll gild the faces of the grooms with all, for it must seem their guilt. Whence is that knocking? How is it with me when every noise appalls me? What hands are here? Ha, ah, they pluck out mine eyes. Will all great Neptune's ocean wash this blood clean from my hand? No, this my hand will rather the a multitude as seas incarnate, making the green one red. My hands of your are of your color, but I shame to wear a heart so white. Here knocking at the south entry, retire we to our chamber, little water clears us of this deed. How easy it is then, your constancy hath left you unattended. Hark, more knocking, get on your nightgown, lest occasion call us, and show us to be watchers. Be not lost so poorly in your thoughts. To know my deed, for I best not know myself. Wake, Duncan, with thy knocking, and would thou curse. Go, carry them and smear the sleepy grooms with the blood. <laughs> How easy is it then? Your constant the constant oh my goodness. 